guys, today I'm here with my monthly favorites video showing you everything that I loved through the month of August. If you're curious about this look, I just filmed a kind of a mini tutorial. Everything that I'm wearing will be listed down below, but I did go to a NYX event today and they launched a bunch of new products. I didn't know that lime green eyes could be so amazing, but I'm like, holy goodness, I'm so into it. So anyways, I'll link to that video down below. You'll see more about these NYX products coming up as I continue to test them. It's my first time testing them today, but uh, do you ever just try a new color and you're like, wow, like this is, this is something. I, anyways, I'll get into that in another video, <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about a foundation that I really loved that I will be reviewing along with a bajillion other foundations that have launched in the past month, but it is a powder foundation from Too Faced. It is their Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. Wow, I got that right. I'm wearing this in the shade Warm Sand. Actually, I'm not wearing it today, but I have worn this a ton, both as a powder foundation and to set my face. I've talked about before loving the look and wear of wearing a kind of a lighter coverage product like my NARS Tinted Moisturizer or the NYX Skin Veil with a powder foundation on top because you get a smidge more coverage, a little bit more wear time, and this is just a really beautiful powder in general. It's very, very multi-use, as they say. I think it is very versatile. You can build it up in terms of coverage, uh, and you can use it to set. You can use it on its own, and I really, really love it. This, the Born This Way liquid, that took me a million years to try, is amazing. You know how much I love the concealer, so the Born This Way line is just really, really up there, but this is a great foundation, uh, but you don't need to take my word for it. I will do a full review. Well, I guess that's still kind of my word, but you'll actually get to see it in action uh, in an upcoming review, so stay tuned for that. If you're curious about my highlighter today, it is Newish from Physicians Formula. It's been out for a little while in the United States, um, more recently launched in Canada, what's new, but I did see this at Shoppers. I've seen most of the Rosé All Day, the new line at Shoppers, although they just launched another new line like last week of liquid blushes, and then I saw today they had a new launch of gold products. I feel like every single brand is just like like some kind of tube and just products are flying off the shelves and flying uh, onto the shelves. So this is their Rosé All Day Petal Glow Highlighter in the shade Freshly Picked. There's a bunch of really gorgeous shades. I wore one of the more pinky ones yesterday by accident actually in Soft Petal. Really pretty, has a nice pink hue to it. But this one to me is just my favorite. I love these highlighters that have like a goldy uh, pink look to them because they don't end up very pink on the cheeks but it just adds some kind of like warmy peachiness to it it is really beautiful the packaging you know it's a little bit bulky it is it's the same as their butter bronzers but I allow it fully when it comes to physicians formula because their formulas are actually really really good so although the packaging is kind of annoying I will give them a pass because the product itself is actually really great it's not that it's like unusable or anything it's just unnecessarily bulky I don't use the brushes some people may but for me, um, it just adds unnecessary bulk but like I said the product itself is great and I have it see I have seen it in stores in Canada which makes it that much better I was tempted to include some of the NYX products that I used today if you're curious I used the modern dreamer palette they had a palette like this come out I think in January of this year which I never actually got the chance to try but this is gorgeous um, we'll call that an honorary favorite but I've only used two shades of it <laughs> but a product from them that I have used that is a kind of a part of this launch but I have been using this for a little while is their bronzer this one is the California Beeman bronzer in the shade OC and this is a really nice kind of satin finish bronzer at a glance you kind of think like oh it looks pretty shimmery but it's really translates on the skin in a beautiful way I don't feel like it looks do I have kind of like a kind of like a dot there or something I didn't blend something here um sorry <laughs> but uh, this product itself looks really really natural on the skin I really love the way it looks it looks very very did I say natural um, it looks natural it has a really nice undertone there's six different shades which is good for a drugstore bronzer generally they come out in like one shade so happy to see that there are some shades that are darker than this some shades that are lighter so if you in general are more of a fan of matte bronzers I think you still could like this if you're looking for something that doesn't have a completely matte finish it doesn't have a ton of shimmer or any glitter in there which is never ever my jam especially with bronzer because I put quite a bit of it on my face this one is very very warm toned but I think it does end up looking quite good on my face uh, I did use this in a recent get ready with me I think so I will link to that down below if you want to see it in action 
Next I want to mention an eyeliner that really blew me away and I wasn't expecting it to blow me away because I, I mean I've received quite a bit of PR. I get a lot of things and especially with liners it takes a lot for me to be super super impressed for colored not liners not for like winged liner liners but I'm always open to swatching a super bright gold and this is so bright like it beams so much it really translates because I find with colored eyeliners unless it's super bright you put it on you're kind of like ah, and it's nothing like you can't even tell in person you can't see here in my studio lights I'm like why did I even bother this is so bright so beautiful really beautiful on the inner corner on your waterline it's also really really long wearing which I appreciate because that's another thing it's like you put it on and even if it looks good an hour later it's disappeared and I just found this to be so beautiful so I'm wearing this in my color pop video where I do the yellow eye look I wore this with like a more warm brown look I just think it's so incredibly beautiful really really blew me away did I even tell you what it is it is the no I didn't it's the NARS high pigment long wear eyeliner in the shade Sunset Boulevard and yeah it just really impressed me coming down in price point a little bit I have the elf all day stay eyeshadow primer I got lots of questions about this when I did an elf haul a little while back and I'm happy to report it is a great eyeshadow primer if you have oilier eyelids or if you have just issues in general with your eyeshadows staying on like for a long time I didn't even wear eyeshadows because I don't even know if I knew eyeshadow primers existed or I could never find one that I liked because I think Urban Decay was the only one out there and it just never really did it for me um, this kind of reminds me in texture and in packaging almost of the NARS one it's definitely a little bit thicker it's something you want to only put on a little bit up because the first time I tried it I was like mm, I don't know it's really thick feels a little bit balmy but if you just put on a little let it set for like maybe 30 seconds before you put your eyeshadow on I thought this does I think this does a really good job it has no color really in it so it's not gonna like wipe out your eyelids to create um, like a white base but I used it under this eyeshadow today I didn't put down any extra eyeshadow eyeshadow primer to make this lid look pop or any setting spray or anything and I've used this now quite a bit before I, I wanted to test it out quite a bit before I report it back because of course your eyeshadows and whatnot are going to really also play a role in what eyeshadow your how your eyeshadow primer performs but really love this you only need a tiny bit and you get a ton of product in here I can't remember exactly how much it costs but I think it was like under five dollars at the very least under ten but I'm pretty sure it's under five uh, so it is a great option if you do plan on picking up some stuff from elf in the uh, near or whenever in the future a kind of a makeup item kind of skincare it is the Laneige lip glowy balm in peach I'm sure I've mentioned this in another favorites video before but I wanted to mention it again because it's something I continue to reach for when I travel to London and Rome this was pretty much the only thing that went on my lips uh, I'm gonna be traveling again and this is gonna be one of the only things I take this is si really really similar according to the brand um, as the Lynette Lynette Laneige lip mask that I love oh so much without the exfoliators because that mask actually has exfoliators in it and apparently you're not actually supposed to use it every night I still use it every night so I don't know but this is something that's a little bit lighter it has a little bit of color in it the peach scent is amazing and the reason I like this is because it is super super comfortable and it looks really juicy and plump on the lips adds a hint of color but it's the kind of thing I can just reapply as I need to when I'm on the go when I want to look Look like a little put together or when I don't want to look put together it's kind of something that I can wear all the time like the Fenty gloss I really love but it's not something that I necessarily look to for moisture it's more so like um, a style over function I guess we'll say and that's something that I would more so wear with a full face of makeup or just any makeup in general not that I wouldn't wear it with a bare face but I'm more likely to wear that when I have some or any makeup on my face this is the kind of thing that I can easily wear with no makeup or with makeup and I feel like it goes both ways so this and the Fenty gloss are something I always have in my bag but this just has that bonus of being extra hydrating while the Fenty is not drying it's still great um, I find this to be a little bit more hydrating and a pretty good price as well so really love these and they come in a couple different scents as well lastly I have two skincare items the first is from pixie this is their vitamin C juice cleanser with orange flower water it's a brightening cleanser it smells so good Mm. depending on what my skin is doing I will just use a micellar water in the morning if my skin is being like really kind of problematic I'll use something that's gonna be a little bit um, a little bit more 
like of a typical cleanser, something that might have an active ingredient to help treat any acne that's on my face. But uh, I use this a lot as well, especially if, say, for example, the day before I didn't wear a lot of makeup or anything like that. This is a cleanser, but it's kind of more like a micellar water. I just put this um, on a cotton pad, rub it on my face in the morning. Something to consider if you use a cleanser every single day in the morning. It may not be necessary to do every single day. I, I recommend it every so often but I kind of switch between the two in the morning. At night, I always use a regular cleanser, always remove my makeup, use a cleanser, then follow up with my skincare. In the morning, I'll kind of switch between a traditional cleanser and something that's more like a micellar water. It'll help to balance your skin. If you're washing it too much, you can uh, produce too much oil, uh, which can cause acne and things like that, depending on what type of acne you have. So this has ferulic acid in there, which is um, really great for any kind of darkness or dark spots on your skin. And it's just really, really beautiful apply with a cotton pad or your hands no need to rinse and I really like this pixie makes really beautiful skincare and it's just a really great scent as well for the morning time it feels like fresh and it's just delightful then lastly, I have the Kiehl's Avocado Nourishing Hydrating Mask to smooth and soften skin the texture on this is wild it's like it almost reminds me of like I haven't used it a ton I've used it a couple times and really liked it so I wanted to mention it to you but um it's almost like coconut oil in the sense that like it's kind of hard and oilish but then when you rub it into your face it kind of melts a little bit but not in like a coconut oil way where it's going to absorb into your skin it still sits on the skin really nicely <laughs> my friend jess who is an instagram uh celeb the blonde man if you follow her she posted about this on her instagram a little while back and it was like so chunky on her face. And I don't know if I was watching without sound or if she didn't say what it was, but I was like, what in God's name does she have on her face? And then I tried this out recently, not even thinking about Jess. And then she messaged me, she was like, wait, how did you do that? So just make sure that you don't take out too much product, really rub it into your skin, but the results were gorgeous. If you have super oily skin, you may not love the feeling of this, but it still could be something to potentially incorporate into your routine. You can get a sample at Sephora or at a Kiehl's store if you have access to one of those. But it says it's to smooth and soften skin, it's a creamy face mask that instantly hydrates, leaving it feeling soft and replenished with moisture formulated with avocado fruit extract, omega rich avocado oil, and evening primrose oil. And I really felt like my skin felt like soft, supple, hydrated. Like it's just a really, really beautiful mask. And again, you don't need much. It'll take you a while to go through this. Like Heels gives you a ton of product in their masks. I feel like same as like their clay mask. I really like that from them. If you have like a more oily prone skin and you're looking for something along those lines, that's a beautiful mask as well. But this is really, really nice. And like I said before, I use a lot of acids and things like that on my skin. I can tend to potentially overdo it sometimes. And this is a really beautiful soothing mask that doesn't feel like too much on my skin and if you have a more normal to dry skin I think you'll absolutely love this mask as well so that is everything from me thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye